Theo sits on the edge of the toilet in the bathroom, shuffling her notes while enjoying a second joint. She ditches the joint, flushes, and stands to address the audience. She is apprehensive, looking at the small strip of white plastic. Ladies and gentlemen of the Life for All chapter of the College Young Republicans, I am knocked up, baking a baby. I had my diddle doodled, and now I'm standing before you, a woman slapped across the face by life. I know I have no choice in this situation. I am young. I had ambitions of becoming a brilliant academic and political mind. I could have been president. But in an hour of weakness, in a dingy little apartment above a record store, I... She skips a card. I am resolved to the consequence. This is no mistake but a gift, and I recognize that as the vice president in long standing with this organization. I will not seek out the father of this baby, intent to raise it on my own, a firm, strong, independent with one dependent. From off stage. Theodora? Theodora, honey, are you all right? I smell something burning. Shit! Fanning the air trying to pack away the note cards. No, nothing's burning. I'm just, um, in the bathroom, Gam Gam. Just working on a project for school. I have to be back Monday and, well, I'm giving a speech. It's very important. June enters the bathroom. You've been in here a long time, dear. You're sure you're not sick? I'm fine. You ate quite a lot of food last night. My fault, though. I always make too much at Thanksgiving. Of course, since your parents decided to jump ship and go to the Bahamas... Do you think you might come out soon? We can girl talk? Sure, and I'm all right. I'm just... You're not smoking pot again, are you? No. Not anymore. Well, I just came to tell you I'm done fixing lunch. Since you say you don't have to be back till then. Your grandfather and I see you so little now that you're off at school. Thanks. I'll be right down. You're sure you're all right? I mean, it's not something wrong with you. You're just masturbating, right? No, I... Because it's okay if you are. Everybody does it. I remember one time walking in on your father. Gam Gam! I'm... I'm fine. I need the mirror to practice my delivery. All right, then. I'm going. June turns to go, but sees the little test on the counter. She snatches it up and reads it, wide-eyed. Double shit. You're pregnant? Gam Gam! I'm going to be sick. I knew you'd react this way. Ward, finished with reading his newspaper, upstage, begins making paper hats. Ward! Ward! Theo grabs June and clamps a hand over her mouth. No! Not Grandpa! Not anybody! Not yet! I'm still adjusting to it, and I'd like at least a few minutes before everyone starts calling me a whore. June relaxing, waiting until Theo removes the hand. Very well, I won't shout. Who's the father? I... I don't remember. What do you mean, you don't remember? Fine, I remember. But I'm not telling anybody. Well, that's good. He's one less person to worry about, I suppose. Gam Gam, can't we just... Don't worry about it then, dear. Way ahead of you. It's between just us girls. I'll make an appointment in the morning. We'll drive over to the clinic and... What? Clinic? No! I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Yes. Why? Well, God is giving me a gift? And I'm not about to let somebody stick a Bissell vacuum attachment up my hoo-ha and, and, and... Huh? Who are you to talk? You have a TV family. You've had children. 